What it do YouTube? My name is Bear Witness. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we have more The Division 2 to talk about. But today, we're going to be talking about the Dark Zone specifically. Now, I want to talk to you guys on a different level. Like a lot of YouTubers are talking about, you know, the best builds and the meta and things like that. And I, although I made a meta video the other day talking about normalization and how the current meta of the vector is kind of, you know, uh, ruining the experience of the Division 2, which you guys can catch in the description down below. I'm going to be talking to you guys about specifically the Dark Zone and I kind of missed the Dark Zone in the Division 1 and I'm going to elaborate further on that. But if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys leave a like down below as well as clicking that sub button and that bell to get notified on every single one of my Division 2 uploads. But with all that being said, let's get right into it. Now, the thing about the Division 1's Dark Zone was it was spread, it was spread out along so much of the map it took up a good reasonable size of the portion of the map and for a lot of newer players that just got into the division it wasn't split up into three different sections now this is odd because it seems like it's almost emptier with the splitting of the three different dark zones and it they all I, i'm pretty sure they all cap at 12 so I, I can't actually remember how many players were able to be. I'm pretty sure I saw more than 12 before, though, in the original Dark Zone. So I don't actually have that stat, but I, I it always felt like there was more, you know? And it was a different type of it. It was an eerie emptiness. It was almost looking over your shoulder at every second type of, uh, like, emptiness. And there was always explosions in the distance and things like that. But it, you never had to worry about, well, I'm not going to say that. Sometimes you had to worry about NPCs fighting, but it was more of, oh, I hear them off in the distance. We got to get this done quickly. We got to get to the extraction. We got to make sure we get our loot. And there was, there was a heart pumping feeling. There was a reason for you to go into the dark zone based on the fact that there was always 100% of the time contaminated loot. And none of that loot was yours and, until you got that extraction done. Now, you at regular could go into a whole different landmark and get literally nothing but free loot and although that seems fun for a lot of people that is not what the dark zone originally was for the dark zone was a place for pvpers to have a high risk high reward type of experience you know i won't necessarily say the division one's gear was better but it definitely, it definitely gave you that sense that it was the most awesome thing that you could possibly be extracting at the current moment. And let, lo and behold, if you got something that you really, really wanted that was, you know, not necessarily God rule, but it was a weapon that you wanted inside of that, inside of that, that game. So you had routes you ran, you ran all your routes, you, you, you. You tried to make sure you tried to, you know, if your friends were there, that you guys would take on any group of enemies you possibly could. And it was a very fun experience. I enjoyed the Division 1's Dark Zone so much and in fact didn't stop playing until I was like the only one out of my friends that was still playing the game. And things moved on and different games came out and things like that happened. It was probably one of the most enjoyable experiences that I've had as a PvPer uh, and even as a pve -er, to be honest because there was just as many PvE topics there or PvE encounters there. But there was so much like i said earlier risk and reward that made it almost seem like it was a better experience than anything else that you could do but that wasn't the case a lot of people will say that forcing pvp players or forcing forcing pvp in general to gain better loot and to gain different loot was a horrible gameplay design I've actually heard people say this, but then I think about the things that everybody had. There were so many different things that you could do inside that game, especially as time went on. You know, they had LZ, in which LZ drops matched DZ drops and things like that. And then there were other fast ways to get loot, as if like there were different things like underground and resistance and all of those things were equal ways to get loot. So you didn't have to feel like you just had to play PvP in general to get some good loot there were other things that developed and i no, i granted i there are tons of things that could develop inside of this game to provide more content for other players and you know more of a serious feel but i almost feel like the dark zone itself is going to be killed off by the fact that you know you don't you don't have to do any do much and you could you, you could spend a half an hour walking around getting loot 
from NPCs and ha have barely any engagements or you could go to PvP and have as many engagements as you want and put your build to the test. Um, so this is kind of where I'm, I'm at on this, guys. I kind of just want to know what you guys think about the DZ currently. If you guys are old school veteran division players and you guys play the D, uh, the DZ in the Division 1, I want to know what you guys think about the Division 2. And if you guys are new to the Division 2, then I also want to hear what you guys think about it currently. And if what I kind of told you guys and described to you guys about the Division 1 makes you guys kind of want, makes you guys want more of that experience. I don't know why I'm tongue-tied today, but hopefully you guys have a wonderful, wonderful night. Um, and you guys are enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like down below as well as clicking that sub button and that bell to be notified on every single one of my Division 2 videos. And with all that being said, guys, I'm out of here. Peace.